Hi, this is Raja Issa from Robert McNeil and Associates. While contemplating best ways to present the Rhino modeling environment to architects, I thought it might be best to base the presentation on modeling methods and workflows rather than a description of a finite set of tools. My hope is that this approach will promote critical understanding of the tools and encourage users to be creative in how they use Rhino and Grasshopper. Digital modeling has taken leaps and bounds in the past few decades. From basic tools used to optimize drafting to an intelligent medium that is challenging how we design and build. In order to be able to use digital modeling to its full potential, you need to keep in mind your three things. First, you need to approach with a critical mindset. That is, come to it with the understanding that it is not perfect nor static. Not perfect because it is made for common use. Not static because all active applications are under development and your feedback will steer future development. It is also true that most software applications are customizable and you can change and extend your modeling environment through changing the settings of the application, scripting and programming. The second is that you need to bear in mind that digital modeling is different from traditional modeling environment, such as sketching and physical modeling. Using digital 3D modeling to duplicate the traditional workflows will narrow its potential considerably. The third, is that it is important to use the right tools for the right job. Not all modeling environments are made equal. Some are more suitable for some industries or workflows. Some are more integrated with other tools and processes. So you need to be mindful when you choose your tool set and keep an eye on your new ones. Rhino is a very versatile modeling environment that can be molded into multiple workflows and is suited in a wide range of industries. The content will be presented in three parts. The first part presents common modeling vocabulary in 3D modeling and how it manifests itself in Rhino. The second part, which is the bulk of this course, is about modeling workflows in architecture using Rhino core modeling tools. The third part involves a brief discussion of digital modeling methods in architecture and how Rhino and Grasshopper and other plugins fit within these methods. Thank you.